um, I went to mom and dad's bed and I and I told mom that my leg was hurting. So we went to urgent care, nothing could be done. So they moved us to Eisenhower and I had an infection in my hip. So they moved us to Loma Linda. The next morning I had to go to surgery and so I had to take this sleep medicine and um, my friend Simba went with me and he had another one of these wristbands and he had this little bandage on him. And we went together into surgery. It makes me feel like scared because I've heard, heard other stories of people um, when they have surgery and it sounds like a really big thing. So I, I was nervous, I was scared. I'm like, what's gonna happen? All kinds of thoughts were zooming through my head. I'm like, ah, what's gonna happen? The doctors revealed that I had MRSA, and not only had it go, gone in my hip, but it, it ha had also go, gone in my blood and my bones. As soon as I heard, I'm like, what is it? And then I heard the doctor say, um, like, a little story about MRSA. When they told me, I'm like, oh, what's going to happen? Do I have to have more surgeries, or, like, what will happen? Like, I was feeling scared, nervous. I didn't know what to do. The infection in my hip wasn't getting better, so they, they revealed that I had to have a second surgery. After I woke up at the second surgery, I couldn't leave my room. I, the people who visited me had to wear like gowns and gloves so they didn't get my infection. Couldn't go outside, couldn't do much at all. I couldn't like walk by myself. I had to use my walker. It was a very just hard time because there were lots of things I could do, but there were even more things I couldn't do. The hardest thing for me was not seeing my friends, and it kind of felt like I was, I know I was not alone that time, but like um, with kids to there to support me, it felt, it just felt like, I don't know, it's just hard sometimes, not seeing your like very old friends. Um, my favorite time in the hospital was probably getting, like, being alone with my mom and dad and, like, looking out um, at, the, at the view down in, out my window. And I, liked, I liked it when dad, like, told me about, like, what was happening in the, like, when they were building and what the tools were. Even though it was a hard time, we had quite a lot of fun doing the things that you do still. So since my infection was so severe, they had to leave it open during the second surgery. So they told me that in a few days they'd come and do it again. So, um, so I went to my third surgery and they closed it. Even after three surgeries, they weren't sure that they would, they would ha they would be able to get the infection out. During my recovery, Pastor Tammy gave me this bracelet that says brave, and it reminded me every time I looked at it, it reminded me to be brave, and I've had it ever since I was in the hospital. Right now, it means to me like, like that I was brave, that I can overcome anything, and that even though the devil is trying to um, take me out of this world. I know that that no weapon formed against me will prosper and that everything God has in my life is for a purpose. After the third surgery, they finally found out the right medications and so that I could finally go home. Finally got to see my sisters. I got to see um, Kwakwa and Papa, my grandparents and they all welcomed me home. I remember I got a big bunch of balloons and some challenges for me were like um, that um, I had to do stuff besides watching TV. I remember that because I, I had the infection during the Olympics and um, I remember I watched the Olympics gymnastics. I think that's what inspired me to do to do gymnastics today. So um, we went to this this like doctor to get like a checkup. And so I walked actually to the bathroom on the other side of, of the wall and then I came back without falling and without using my walker. And so when, I, when he came back, he said, nope, you don't need your walker anymore. And it was a really fun memory and a kind of a like, oh, 
because because I couldn't still couldn't walk very well. So after that, I had to do a little more training to do it without my walker. I'm glad that God healed me. And if you guys are going through anything like struggling, like you're struggling in something, always remember that God is with you and that he will never leave you. And he's always by your side, even through the obstacles and that he will never leave you. Even in the end, it will, he will always work out something for good.